Hello, my name is Ron Blue and I'm president of Kingdom Advisors. And I think that there's probably never been a time like we're facing right now in terms of the opportunity to offer encouragement to our staff and to our clients. And we're better to get encouragement than to go back to God's Word and say, what does God's Word have to say in troubled times like this? Well, I could start in 1 Chronicles 29, verses 11 and 12. God owns it all. That gives me an eternal perspective, a right perspective, coming right out of God's Word, because I either believe that or I don't. And if God owns it all, Psalm 24, verse 11, I think it is, that also says that God owns it all. He says in the Proverbs that He owns a cattle on a thousand hills. Well, if He owns it all, then my perspective is that when the stock market goes down and when my value in my home goes down, it's really God's resources that are disappearing. And God is in control of those resources. I've been spending a lot of time during this economic crisis that we're in right now in Psalm 73. And I've been in Psalm 73 many times in my life. It's where Asaph, writing the Psalm, he says that, but as for me, my feet almost slipped, my steps nearly went astray, for I envied the arrogant, I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And he goes on to relate this back to God. And here's God's answer, beginning in verse uh, 22, or Asaph's answer, first of all, in verse 22, he says, I was a fool and didn't understand. I was an unthinking animal towards you. And here's where we as advisors need to take encouragement. Verse 23, God says, Yet I am always, and I've out underlined that in my Bible, with you. You hold me by my right hand. So God's got a hold of my right hand right now. Not only is He with me, but He's got a hold of my right hand. And He guides me with His counsel, and His Word is His counsel. Of course, we have the Holy Spirit, but we also have His Word that the Holy Spirit interprets. So He's with me, He holds me by my right hand, and He will guide me with His counsel, and afterwards, you will take me up to glory. The whole perspective is eternal. Verse 25, probably all of us know this, Whom do I have in heaven but you, and I desire nothing nothing on earth but you. That gives me the right perspective. But I am encouraged by verse 26. He says, my flesh and my heart may fail. In other words, I may experience anxiety, fear, all of those emotional things. My heart may even fail. So it's not wrong to feel these things. But what we have to do is what he says next. But God is the strength of my heart, my portion forever. So this morning, even as I was praying, I said, God, I receive your portion right now, because that's what you've promised in, in your word. And then verse 28, but as for me, God's presence is my good. I have made the Lord God my refuge. And here for the advisors is a critical piece. So I can tell about all you do. In other words, we get the privilege of being God's mouthpiece in these times of economic uncertainty. What better way to encourage our clients and ourselves than to go back to His Word? And I would close with this. If you still have some doubts, if you still have some fears, read Revelation 21 and 22 and see how the story ends. It's really tough to think about economic uncertainty when I read Revelation 21. What's it going to be like? in that city where their streets are of gold and light is the Lord. We don't need a sun. There is no darkness. That's where we're headed. And that is the right perspective for where we are today.